everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Facebook Live with Barb. It's Thursday evening, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, and 7 Eastern. So I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's beautiful outside here. It's probably, I don't even know, it might even be 80 degrees here. Uh, wow. So we're pretty excited. Oh, I see Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Jamie's one of my team members. I love it when you guys join me. This is so fun. Uh, we have Mandy. Mandy's joining us. Uh, Mandy's still married, still has a good manicure. Uh, I see Kristen and Cheryl. Hello, everyone. If you wouldn't mind sharing the video, that would be awesome. That helps me out tremendously. Um, let your friends and family and other crafty friends know that I'm on and I'm going to create some hopefully amazing projects tonight. We will see. Um, I think they're kind of fun. I've kind of been on a mission lately to, um, get you guys to use up your designer series papers. Um, and I know that we all have a ton of designer series papers and today's program will be no different. I've got a great... Um, I've got some great projects using designer series paper to show you guys. So I'm super excited. Gosh, we have a ton of people coming on. We've got Lisa and Cheryl and Valerie and Debbie and Sue and Barbara. Great name, by the way, Barbara. Uh, Patricia and Cheryl. And oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for coming along and for sharing. And of course, the thumbs up and the hearts. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much. Um, I have another punch party stamp set to give away. I think I had a total of like 10 of these things. Uh, we could earn them during celebration um, this year, a couple months ago, um, when you placed a $350 order or, you know, hosted a party, whatever. And I order a lot of things during celebration. I order a lot of stuff for myself, lots of cardstock and adhesives, because that's, why wouldn't I get stuff for free? And so I have a whole bunch of these. I think I had like 10 total. I think this is, I think I've given away four. So this is maybe number five. So we're going to be giving this again away again. I'm going to use the same rules, I guess, as I have the last few weeks. While I'm live, I'm just going to randomly stop what I'm doing and I'm going to scroll through the comments and I'm going to pick somebody to win it. Um, and again, if I get to my third project of the day and I haven't given it away, please let me know uh, in the comments. Hey, Barb, you haven't given away the prize. So I will get that done. Um, I've been... I've been on my game the past two weeks and I actually have done it and you guys hadn't had to remind me. So we'll see if three times, if three times is a charm. So I'm super excited to be able to do that. Um, hopefully um, the winners don't have it already, but if you do, I guess you could gift it to a friend or if you're a demonstrator, you could use it as an incentive of some sort. So I will be giving this away. Um, what else do I want to tell you while I have the camera facing this direction? <gasps> a week from Monday, you guys, I get my eyeball cut on and I get rid of my cataract and I'm super excited about that. Funny story, they actually called me on Monday morning to see if I wanted to come in yesterday because somebody had canceled and I was like, ah, I'm in the middle of my taxes and then you have to start the eye drops. And I said, no, 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 I can't. I can't fit that in this week, I'm terribly sorry. So um, I didn't go. So anyways, yeah, so a week from Monday, I'll be getting my eyeball sliced open and fixed. So I'm really excited about that. Um, oh, here's a funny, not funny story. Um, when was it? Today's Thursday, right? It must have been Tuesday. I was uh, on a Zoom call with Kelly and Dina, and I got a text message from my bank that said, Hey, did you just charge $550 in Hawaii? Uh, no. I wish I was in Hawaii spending $550, but I'm not. So I said, no, you know, and you, you, you know, what's going to happen. The minute you get that text message and they ask you if you've made that charge and you know that you haven't, you know, the minute you reply, no, you know, what's going to happen. Your credit card is done. Well, we only have one credit card. We're not, we don't have like all kinds of credit cards and debit cards. We have one credit card. That's it. That's all we have. And I was looking at that text going, oh, because, you know, when your credit card gets canceled, what a pain in the butt that is, you know? So I said, no. So then, of course, they immediately call you on the phone. Did you make this charge? No. Did you make this charge? No. So then, of course, they cancel it. 
and then they tell you that you'll get your new card in 10 to 14 days. And I'm thinking to myself, mm, no, that's the only credit card I have. I can't go without a credit card for 10 or 14 days. I mean, I order a ton of Stampin' Up! stuff, number one. Um, like, you know, at least every other day, every third day. So, no, I can't wait 10 to 12, 10 to 14 days. I need my credit card now. So I said, can I get it expedited? And they're like, oh, yeah, we can do that. And I said, I'll pay whatever. And they said, oh, no, there's no charge. I'm like, okay, great. So yesterday I'm down here working on my taxes and I think I hear a knock on my door. Um, but in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, it's it's UPS, it's Amazon. I ordered some uh, some cellophane bags from Amazon. So that's what it is. So I didn't think anything of it. Well, about an hour goes by and I take a break and I'm checking my emails and things. It was UPS trying to deliver my credit card. No one told me it was going to be expedited, meaning UPS next day air with the signature required. Otherwise, I would have ran upstairs as fast as I could to get my card. So anyways, they came back today and I was able to get my card. But yeah, what a, oh, you know, and I know we've all experienced it. I'm not anybody special. We've all gone through it. It sucks. It's a pain in the rear end. You have to try to remember every single thing. You know, I have a lot of automatic payments. I mean, I use a lot of different services for my business and they're all on automatic payment. And so then you have to go in, you have to change your credit card and every single one of those things. Ugh, I wish these people would legit get real jobs, like real legitimate jobs that didn't screw people over. Pardon my French. Um, and while, you know, I didn't lose any money. So, I mean, it didn't, it didn't affect me financially that way, which thankfully, you know, I'm sure it has many other people and I, I, my heart goes out to you guys, you know, um, that's one reason why I don't use a debit card because I don't want a hacker to have access to my bank account, to my money. You know what I'm saying? And so anyway, yeah, it's a total inconvenience, Susan. You are absolutely right. So anyways, I got my cards. Now I just have to go through the whole blah, blah, changing everything. And <sighs> until the next time I'm in Hawaii, not spending $550. Thankfully that charge was blocked. So the people that tried to do it didn't even get that money or that service or whatever the heck it was. So yay. So anyway, yeah. Uh, my son's going to the prom. I think we've talked about this. He's going, it's a week from Saturday. So that's kind of fun for him anyway. Maybe not for me. Well, I guess, yeah, it's, it'll be fun for me. Uh, my daughter never did go to prom. She just didn't even care um, about that. But he's going, and so I'm not really even sure what you do, you know? I, I don't know what to do. And I think it's a lot different when you're the mom of the girl as the mom of the boy, because I feel like the girls kind of do everything. You know, they set it all up. They make the dinner plans. They they tell the guys what they're going to do, I think is basically how that works out, um, as it should be. <laughs> anyway, so I got a, a text message uh, from the, a gal one of the gals in his friend group, their parents are going to host the dinner. So the mom was very kind and sent out a, a text to like 10 of us and said, Hey, I'm so-and-so we're having dinner at our house at two 30 in the afternoon. And then at three 30, we'll start taking pictures. So if you want to come out here at that time, that'd be awesome. So that was really nice of her to do that, organize it and everything. So, um, yeah, we'll be able to head out there and take a bunch of pictures and they live kind of out in the County. Well, I mean, I do too, but they live a little farther out than I do. So I'm sure they have a fantastic, um, woody kind of, you know, really pretty area to take the photo. So I'm actually really excited. Um, yeah, I guess I did do one thing. I did take him down to get fitted for his tux. And I think Wednesday he goes in to like try it on, make sure it fits and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, kind of exciting. We'll be the, the guy of the, have no advice yet. Yeah, Denise, I, I don't even know. In fact, I asked him, I'm like, well, you know, do we need to do anything? I don't know. That's his answer to everything. And maybe it's just a teenage boy, but I swear every single thing I answer or I ask him, the standard answer is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hear that a hundred times a day from him. I don't know. And half the time I wonder if it's because he just doesn't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? He just wants to be left alone and be in his own world. So if he says, I don't know, then how do you counter that? You know what I'm saying? You can't counter that. So anyway, all right. I'm going to flip the camera over because I have some super exciting things to share with you guys. Um, I have my DSP charts that are available. I've got adhesive kit that's available. I'm going to show you the cards that we made last week. Um, and of course, all the links to 
something. You know what's weird, Diane? She, he's going with a friend of his. So he bought the tickets to the dance, and she said she would take care of the flowers. So I guess whatever. So she said she would take care of that. He bought the tickets. So I think as far as the money goes, maybe that's the, that's a spare split. I don't have any idea how much the flowers cost. The tickets were 40 bucks, 20 bucks a person. So I would imagine the flowers, you know, a boutonniere and a wristlet for her is probably $20, $25 each. I don't know. So we'll see. What ha I don't know. Again, you know, because he's, I don't know. Well, I told him to find that. I said, you need to find that out. Because crazily, um, in Sheridan, Wyoming, um, it's Mother's Day. And they decided to have prom on Mother's Day weekend. Why, I don't know. So a lot of the florists in town have been put out the word a few months ago that said, hey, you know, it's Mother's Day weekend. So we are only doing X number of flower arrangements for these proms because we can't we just can't we can't do that much work so i told him i said you need to find that out because oh i have this note over here oh never mind sorry i got distracted to find out about the flowers because i didn't want them to like not get the flowers you know what i'm saying so anyway he apparently did get that taken care of and she said she would get the flowers so okay great all right i'm gonna flip the camera and then we are going to do a little chit chatting and i'll show you some fun stuff Whoops, there's my ceiling again. Sorry. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Why is that always just a problem? Okay, and I've got to, you know, fiddle around with this dumb thing and make sure that it's um, level and even because I'm a little, a little bit, you know, anal. Well, that always sounds like such a bad word, but, you know, I don't, I don't know if it really is. I, I just am. Okay, and then I got to check one more thing. Yeah, we, I knew we had to fix that a little bit. Okay, I think it's pretty straight. All right, here's Mandy. What color of the dress? The color of her dress is like a deep periwinkle. It's gorgeous, actually, a very gorgeous, gorgeous dress. So it's kind of like between this blue and this purple, maybe like down here in the corner. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, and so, yeah, $20 each. hundred. Yeah, I mean, you know, I thought 20 bucks was a lot, but maybe the school funds some of it, or maybe they have like a booster club here. Maybe the booster club, you know, funds part of the dance. I, I don't really know. Like I said, my daughter was never interested in doing prom, so this is my very first experience doing this. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, guys, let me get my chair out of the way. So, annual catalog product shares. Yay! So, what that means is... I take all the paper in the catalog and I cut it up into six by six pieces and then I sell it to you or to whoever. And so um, that designer series paper, like all the papers, do I even have some? I probably have some. Well, here is one set. Well, actually, let me just do this. I've got my um, designer series paper sampler sheets done with the papers that I had available to me at the time because you know Stampin' Up! lets demonstrators um, purchase things early. So um, so the DSP, you know, here's one of them. Here's another one that we were able to get. This one is really pretty. Um, the Beauty of the Earth and another just amazing a gorgeous set of papers. Um, the Hand Panned, really fun, subtle patterns. Um, and then this is the host only. So if you host, um, this is one of the host options for having a $150 order or a $1,550 party, party slash order, whatever. We don't judge here. You know what I'm saying? Hello, Donna, Cynthia, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, and so this is, this isn't part of what I'm giving you, but this is something you can earn free as a host. Um, but I wanted to let you see it. So anyways, those are the papers for the product shares and I also am selling my charts okay I'm only making 35 of these sets of charts so that's one entire pack of paper will get me 35 charts like you know of course every pack of paper but I can get 36 charts um out of a pack of paper so I'm keeping one and then I've got 35 to sell and I think I have about 10 left so if you are interested in the designer series paper um sampler chart. Um, the link is in the description below this video. They're $30 shipped to you. What you get is the white cardstock pieces with the name of the paper printed on it and the coordinating colors. You get a two by four piece of designer series paper. You cut it in half, flip one side. That's how you get the multiple patterns. 
And then I give you the circles um, for the coordinating colors. I'm not using, I'm not doing white. White is obviously one of the colors in this paper. I'm not listing it and I'm not putting it on the chart. Um, so there you go. So anyways, you'll get charts for every one of our designer series papers. You'll get the chart for this. You will not get the paper or the circles. If you want to do this, you'll have to do that yourself. However, I am giving away three of the pieces of paper and the circles. So three people that purchase the kit from me um, will get, like I'll draw winners and three of the people will get those. Um, and then you get the in color. Uh, we're not doing all of the pattern stacks. I'm just gonna do one and it's gonna be the in colors. And I haven't gotten that one done yet, but I have a sample of this past year. So you will get, you know, the papers in the in colors and then the little circles there. So these kits, like I said, I think I have about 10 left and the description is in the link below this video. They're $30. Um, I think a lot of you demonstrator gals that follow me would be very interested in these. Um, so anyways, there you go. Okay, so then of course the product shares, you can get all the information. There's a link in the description to go to my blog. It tells you exactly what you get in all these um, different things. And then you can send me an email um, with what you want and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Okay, then my In Color Club. So exciting. I wanted to show you what you actually get. So every month you get a packet of things in one of our In Colors, okay? And in your packet, you get, I don't know where my ink pad went. Well, let's just pretend that this is a polished pink ink pad, even though it's not. So every month you would get an ink pad, the ink refill, the marker, a half a pack of cardstock, four sheets of the designer series paper, um, the jewels that go with the color, a piece of the shimmery vellum, an ombre bag, and then if you want to add the blends, you can. So just the standard kit. Oh, and you get two yards of the coordinating ribbon also. And that's every month until you've done it for five months and you get all the colors. So that's $35.99 shipped directly to you in a priority envelope. If you want to add the blends for each color, you can for an additional $10, making it um, $45.99 per month. And I am still taking signups for that. All you have to do, you can go to my blog and check it out. The link's in the description of this video. Or you can send me an email. Let me know you want to sign up. Um, and then I will um, send you PayPal invoices each month um, until we've completed the five months and you've gotten all of these amazing in-color items, okay? So let me put this away. And this. All right. Ooh, my little adhesive kit. I do sell these adhesive kits. Oops. Uh, okay. So this is the, this is one of my little adhesive kits. I have the link in the description. They're $45. Unless you purchase one of my online classes, then you can add it to your class for 40 bucks. But I will let you know that if you purchase a class from me. So if you want it by itself, um, the bags are different colors. I think, well, here we are. We've got black, red, blue, yellow, green, and purple. I mean, you don't get to choose. They're just, they are what they are. Um, and then inside of it, you will find... A seal adhesive, a tear and tape adhesive, um, blah, dimensionals, mini glue dots, a liquid glue, an adhesive eraser, a sand eraser, and a six inch ruler, all in this cute little bag. And so I've really been having a lot of good feedback about these, you guys. I've been selling quite a few and people are pretty excited about them. Uh, the bags are pretty handy to uh, tote with you um, to your crafting places or just to keep everything near you um, when you're crafting. So those are also available. Those are fun. All right, adhesive kits. Ooh, here is something. Our new catalog kickoff party is coming up, you guys. Now, I'm going to say, first of all, if you are a Stamp Happy Academy member, basic or premium, you get this for free. So do not go to my link in the description of this video and register for that because you will get in for free. We will send you an email with the link to the Facebook group telling you how to get in. So if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member, basic or premium, you get this for free. Um, if you're not and you want to join us, absolutely click the link in the description of this video. It's only $10. We've got a free gift for everybody that signs up. Uh, we're gonna have three live events, one with me, one with Kelly, one with Dina. We're gonna have card challenges, mystery stamping, 
Of course, prizes. What fun would it be without prizes? And they'll be from the new catalog. Um, like I said, a free gift for all attendees. We'll have a sample gallery with tons of swap card samples in there. Um, we're going to be playing some games, and it's going to be tons of fun. So if you are Stamp Happy Academy members, uh, just wait for your email to get in. If you're not, then just go ahead and click the link and pay the 10 bucks, and we will get you in there. So, yeah, we're pretty excited. It's going to start on the 4th of May. We're going to have a few things that'll go before that, like, you know, maybe some get to know you type posts and whatever uh, that are going to, I believe, start May 1st. Um, and then we're going to go through like the 13th of May with everything that we're doing. So it's going to be a ton of fun. And you guys are not going to be sorry if you join us because, you know, Kelly, Dina and I, we know how to throw a party. So there you go. And Jamie is saying that Stamp Happy Academy is awesome. And so did Bonnie. Thank you, guys. It is awesome. We are super excited about it. All right. <sighs> the last chance product sale. The current catalog expires or retires on May 3rd at 11.50 p.m. at night for online orders. So things are selling out. Stamp sets are selling out. They were guaranteed through, I think, last Friday. So now they are a um, while supplies last along with everything else. And so, yeah, make sure that you get everything you need before it's gone. All right. Oh, the Boho Indigo. Of course, the Boho Indigo product medley is gone. It's sold out. But um, if you have it, this is an amazing class and you don't want to miss it. It's only $45. It includes a roll of ribbon, a half a pack of gold foil sheets, a half a pack of gold glitter dots, even though they are sold out. I have some. Um, and then the cardstock kit to make eight cards plus a box set of four cards. Of course, the links are in the description of the video because they always are. Um, my posted for you class, I think I have six of these left, you guys. If you have the posted for you uh, bundle, you want to get the class. If you don't have it, let me know. I can certainly order it for you and add it to your class. Um, we've got eight super cute cards, two of each. Let's see, there's four designs, two of each. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, may the fourth be with you. That's hilarious. Yes, I know. That's kind of exciting about the Stampin' Up! catalog going live on May 4th, isn't it? <laughs> makes me chuckle. My Totally Techniques Online Club. A lot of you are members. Um, the link is in the description of this video. All you have to do is spend $30 a month with me. You get my Totally Techniques card and instruction card every month. And then after six consecutive months, I gift you with a free $30 gift certificate. And then of course, the star of the show, our Stamp Happy Academy. We love it. You love it. Everybody loves it. If you're not a member, please check it out. The basic membership is only $19.95. You get all four of our online classes a month. And then you can purchase the kits to go with them if you like the class. Uh, the premium gives you all of that plus three live classes each month where we show you different layouts, color combinations, that kind of stuff. Or you can be a live only member for 20 bucks a month. You can check it all out. StampHappyAcademy.ning.com. Love to see you there. Okay. Um, these are my two latest classes. They're going to be my May classes. So let me move some of these things out of the way. The floor is a great place for that. So the Hand Panned Petals uh, Suite is going to be our collective online class for the month of May. Uh, you can get the whole shebang, which is the Hand Pen Suite, along with the Highland Heather Ribbon, the Mint Macaron Ribbon. I think that was it. For the $103, you can add on the Memories and More kits for $25. Bucks. The card suck and supply kits 45 and the online class only is 20. This will be available um, at the end of May. Okay, I think it's May 28th or something like that. The Flowers of Friendship bundle. Those of you girls that are demonstrators that saw me at On Tour, my presentation used the Flowers of Friendship bundle. It is, oh, I love this bundle so much. And in addition to the cards that I shared during the On Tour event, I have lots more cards. And so I'm making a class out of it. And the cardstock supply kit's always $45 with my class to go. And then if you want to add the bundle to that, the total is $91.75. So yeah, the links are all in the description of the video if you guys are interested. Okay, let's stamp. All right. Oh, I was going to show you guys some cards I've gotten in the mail. So thank you guys so much when you send me cards. I love it. Here is a card that I got from Debbie Lindauer. I hope I said her name right. So cute. I think this was a paper pumpkin kit. I think that's where these stamps came from. So paper pumpkin kits, you can just keep using them forever. Ooh, Patricia said that our kickoff parties are a lot of fun. She's done several. Yes, Patricia, thank you so much. They are fun, you guys. 
All right. And then this one is from my dear friend, Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. It's a beautiful card. She's very kind and sending cards all the time. I love that. And this is from one of my team members, Barbara. Barbara loves doing fun folds. Isn't that fun? I should have actually made a card. I didn't even think about that. I will because this is fun. So this is a card from my team member, Barbara. And thank you so much, Barbara. I think Barbara's on here tonight. And so is Donna. And actually, Debbie, all three of these gals might be on here. So thank you, girls. I appreciate that. Okay. And then the cards that I did last week. I know sometimes you guys like to see those if you didn't get to join me. We made this fun uh, butterfly closure card using the Love You Always foils and the Love You Always specialty paper. Now these are in the January to June catalog. And while they will be retiring, they are still available through um, the end of June. And Chris wants to know how to get a new catalog. Um, Chris, I thought I sent you one, but maybe I didn't. I'll have to check my records. Um, and if I didn't, I will get one out to you. Okay, so this is the, one of the cards that I made. And then last week, I kind of focused on the designer series paper that comes in the Boho Indigo product medley. And I made this fun card, kind of like a window card, where I just took that um, best plaid builder dies. They're retiring. And I just cut one and laid it over the top of the designer series paper. Couldn't be any easier um, than that. And we just made a fun card using um, the uh, embossed paper that comes in that kit and a lot of the little foliage pieces. And then I showed you guys how to pull the little um, beads off of the little flowers and add some other kind of gem. So that was kind of fun. Then we took the designer series paper and we just made a bunch of cards. Some of these I had already done before the live and then some of them I made during the live. Because like I said, I am on a quest to use up designer series paper and I know you guys want to be able to do that too so here are just a bunch of cards they went together super quickly um and they're just a lot of fun and again here we are we took the bead off those little flowers and added in some of those in color dots and that just made them really cute put the little in color dot now this is is a piece of designer series paper folded up that's it I mean this is like the simplest card you could make a bunch of these cards in literally minutes so Yes, I'm on a quest, you guys. Designer series paper hoarders, watch out. Barb's coming for you. Oh, I forgot I made an envelope for this too. Okay, so that was last week. All right. This week, we're going to do some more designer series paper using. And we're going to use the My Meadow stamp set on some cute cards. And the Itty Bitty Greetings, of course. These are retiring. And so... Um, yeah, this should be fun. Okay, where is my, here we go. Here is my papers. Whoops, hold on. So I've got an envelope, because that's a great way to help you use up your designer series paper, is put some of the paper on your envelope. Then I have a thick Whisper White card base. And then I had a six by six piece of paper. And this is, um, what is this? This is the end color patterns stack. And these are retiring because all the patterns are retiring and then Stampin' Up's bringing in a brand new patterns that are amazing. But you probably have some of these laying around. So here's a great way to use them up. So I took a full six by six sheet. I cut three inches off of it. And then I cut a half inch off that. So this is a three by five and a half inch piece. So then I had a three by six piece left. I cut that at two and a half so I could cover my envelope flap. And then I was left with a half inch strip that I'm going to stick on the inside of my card because you always want to have a little bit of fun on the inside. So that's an entire six by six piece of paper used on one card. So you could make, you could get rid of a lot of DSP this way. All right. So then we have the stitched nested labels, uh, dies that are retiring. And um, so I cut myself too, because in case I screw up, I have an extra. So hopefully we don't screw up, but you know, sometimes we do. So I have two. Um, I also have the snail mail uh, Baker's Twine combo pack. Now it will be retiring at the end of June um, when the catalog retires. This is one of the items that's retiring. So we're gonna use some white twine. I just tied a little, a little tiny bow here. I'll show you how I do that though when the time comes. And then I have a little strip of paper and this is, what is this? This is like a half inch by three. 
Oh my gosh, Donna, you're hilarious. She bought my In the Meadow stamp or In the Meadow class. Well, you're going to recognize this card then, Donna. Okay. So I have my stamps. I've got the little wheelbarrow. And I've got Happy Mother's Day because I thought I need a Mother's Day card for my mother in law. Um, and then I've got the little stretch of ground here. We have the little bucket to the wheelbarrow. Uh, what else do we have? We have the little flowers and the little leaves. So what I've got is I've got the wheelbarrow base or frame, uh, the wheelbarrow bucket, the little just a little set of flowers and the leaves. And let's see, those four things and this little piece of ground right here. And that's all we're going to use on these parts. All right, so we need our label and then we need some ink. Aha, <laughs> there's my polished pink ink pad. So polished pink is one of our new in colors. And when I was stamped the ink with it today, it the ink, it goes pretty well with Magenta Madness. It's not perfect, but it goes pretty well. And since I wanted to use up retiring things, I wanted to use my Magenta Madness paper, but I thought that the polished pink ink, I could use Magenta Madness, but the polished pink was kind of fun. Okay, I also need gray. So I've got some smoky slate here. And I'm just going to ink up my little wheelbarrow frame here in my smoky slate. And I'm going to stamp that about like so. Maybe up a tiny bit. Okay. Cute, simple, no problem. Oh, I need to scrap away. Hold on, please. Hold, please. Oh no, where's my scraps of white? Ah, well, thankfully. The thing that I need to stamp is tiny. I couldn't find my, I think my scrap folder is over by my stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, so here is my So Saffron pad. And I'm gonna stamp uh, the little bucket. And then I'm gonna stamp it again. Since I've already stamped it once, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. So this is gonna kinda help me know where to stamp my flowers. It's super light, I'm gonna cut this out and cover it up, but that's gonna help me um, know where to stamp my flowers and leaves. Okay, so now we're going to bring in the old polished pink, which is, it's very pretty. I like pink. I don't wear a lot of pink, but I like pink as a color. All right, let's see. I think this goes like this. So I can kind of see that yellow bucket, and I'm just going to stamp my flowers kind of like right above that. Then I also have, oh, I better close these up because... We all know what happens if you don't close them up. You get ink everywhere. All right, so then we're gonna do some pear pizzazz here. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of guess. Got the old eyeball closed. Eh, could be better, could be worse. That's for dang sure. So I've got this little bucket here. So when I cut it out, it's kind of, it's not like perfectly straight. It's kind of, I don't know, real I guess. So as I'm cutting around this, I'm kind of cutting it a little bit wavy. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm trying to kind of just make it look a little more realistic rather than just a straight bucket, I guess. Oh, the name of the stamp set is My Meadow, Chris. Okay, and we're just going to go around like so, and then we have our little bucket. And I'm going to try to get some seal on here. Sometimes I have a trouble getting tiny. No, oh, that worked out pretty good. Sometimes I have trouble. Ooh, I think I'm going to get to cover up that leaf that I got a little crazy with. And then there we have our cute little bucket. Okay. Um, I need a little more pear pizzazz. My stamp mat. You know, Cynthia, I don't always need a stamp mat. It just depends. I think if, if it was something that was big and bold, I probably would. But these aren't that big and they're not that bold, so I'm not really having uh, too much trouble not having a stamp mat under there. Okay. Oh, dang. This is my... You guys know I got brand new ink pads, right? Okay, well, this one is very stiff, so I'm going to show you what I do when I have stiff ink pads. Uh, at least I think I am. Where is... Okay. Here's a piece of wax paper. I'm going to cut a tiny piece. Well, actually, I'm just going to tear it. So you probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just tearing a chunk off because I want this to slide easier. 
So I'm going to take my wax paper and I'm just going to rub it in here. And you probably have seen some people use birthday candles. I don't like that because birthday candles leave wax, like little chunks of wax, and they get in your pad and I'm anal and I don't like that. I don't want chunks of birthday candle on my pads. Okay, so then I also come over here and I do this edge too. Okay, so just rub some wax paper on there. Be careful not to stick your fingers in it. <laughs> That's hard, not to stick your fingers in it. Okay, so then it should slide a lot easier. Check it out. So there's a tip for you guys, wax paper on the inside and outside track of your stamps will, um, or of your stamp pads will help them open and close it better. Okay, so now we need to put our three inch by five and a half inch layer on the front. And I've chose the polka dot pattern because I just like polka dots. All right, so we're gonna try to center this. I've got my eye closed. As you guys know that it is difficult. Ooh, is that good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. Then, and I actually have a YouTube video showing that same tip. Uh, when Stampin' Up! first came out with these brand new ink pads, um, I shared that tip. And I hadn't gotten any new ink, I hadn't really gotten any new ink pads since then. But then when I replaced all of mine, I needed to do that. And I kind of do it as I need it. Like I, I didn't take every single color and then do it, you know, anyways chapstick yeah i don't think i'd want to put chapstick in there so i'm going to stick with my wax paper it works great okay so we're going to add this little strip in here to the inside there we go and of course it's a little long no problemo there we go all right Okay, then I have my little strip. Where is it at? Right here. And I'm going to ink up my little Happy Mother's Day in the polished pink again, which is over here. Did I just dip that? Oh, I did not. Whew. I thought I got my card in there and I was going to cry. Well, I probably wouldn't cry, but you know, I'd be a bit sad. Oh, goodness, that was upside down. Good thing it didn't matter. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. <laughs> Oh, Barb. Okay. Then I have my banners pick a punch. And I normally always use this, but I'm going to use this side this time instead. So this is a half inch strip. At least I thought it was. Yeah, it's a half inch. So it should slide right in there easily. And then we can snip that off. And then we'll slide the other side in there and snip that off. And I think that's about even. Okay. Yeah, you guys are telling me I'm funny. Sometimes I just crack myself up, obviously. <laughs> oh, I got a couple dimensionals. This is These are dimensionals that I got in my paper pumpkin kit. Whenever I get my paper pumpkin kits, I always take all the adhesives out and put them with my other adhesives um, because I don't keep them in the box. Okay, so then I'm going to add that about like so. And then my little Happy Mother's Day. I think I might snip this down just a tiny bit more. It seems like it's a little bit long for what I want to do. So I'm going to snip off both ends just a tiny bit. Make it a little smaller. Uh, yes, that's better. Whoops. And then I'm going to add some seal. Get that started again. Go, seal, go. Ooh, Kathleen's watching a football game and her grandson just made a touchdown. That's awesome. How old is he, Kathleen? Is he high school age? Is it little guy? What is it? What do we got going on here? We need to know. All right, so now I have a little bow. I wish that banner punch had the wits labeled on the back. I never remember the wits to use. You know, and I don't know why I remember. I just know that it's half three-quarter one. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. Okay. Then we need a glue dot. So we're going to take a glue dot here. We're going to roll it. And you guys have seen me do this before where I just kind of roll it on the, um, the paper that it's stuck on the backing sheet. And then I'm going to add my little rolled up glue dot to the back of my, um, 
Oh, I was going to show you. I was going to make this bow. I will. Because they're really easy. And then I'm just going to set this right down here at the bottom of the card. Then we need a rhinestone. Where's my rhinestones? Are they in here? Yes. And we also need a heart. So we've got a rhinestone and a heart to put on. So we've got a rhinestone here. And I'm going to put that in the wheel. There we go. And then I also have these little hearts. These are so cute. Because I used a, a few of them at Valentine's Day. But I thought, I mean, how cute is that? It doesn't really add any bulk because they're pretty thin. Um, and it's for mom. So, you know, mom deserves a little bit extra. Okay, so now we're going to do the envelope quickly. And then I have something fun to show you. I hope she will, Jean. It's kind of funny. My father-in-law, um, he's passed away now, but um, my husband and I have been together for, mm, I'm trying to think. We've been married for 23 years and we were together for four years before he asked me to marry him. He was on the uh, date forever plan. Um, yeah, he was annoying back then. Anyway, <laughs> And so my father-in-law has gotten a lot of cards from me um, over the years. You know, like I said, I've been a demonstrator for 18 years and he saved every one of my cards. Bless his heart. When he passed away, uh, my husband's mom shared with me, he had a whole stack of them in his desk. He never threw any of them out. That was awesome. It actually really almost made me want to cry that he kept them. So there you go. You never know who's going to actually really appreciate him. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't necessarily think that a guy is going to, you know, keep your cards. But yeah, he kept every one of them. Okay. So there. There's our cute little used up an entire piece of designer series paper. And there it is. Okay. So then what I thought would be fun would be to make a boxed set of these cards. Because they're so easy. So earlier today while I was preparing, I made more. So I have four of them here. I need to make some room. So I need to make sure my stamps are out of the way. My inks are out of the way. I don't want to make a mess. Get ink anywhere that I don't want it. Now I'm throwing stuff on the floor. Okay. So I made all these cute little cards. Yeah, they were Donna. And I, I just, it just, just put a smile on my face, you know. I, like I said, I had no idea that he was saving them until she told me that. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So that was fun. That was fun to hear. Okay, so here's our set of four cards. So now we're going to make a box to put them in. So we're going to put all the cards like so. And they're all the same, as you could tell. I did the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow's so saffron on every single one of them. Ooh, this is fresh freesia, if you guys want to know. That's one of our new colors. Um, and then the balmy blue one. So we have a, where is it? Here it is. One of our acetate card boxes. These come in a pack of 10. Um, I think they're $7. So pretty inexpensive, 70 cents to make a box set. Um, and so all you do is just put it together. And normally what I do, they come flat. So normally what I do is I'll push those inside and pull them out. And then I'll push this whole piece in and smash it on that and then smash it on the, the wheelbarrow Sharon it is from the my meadow stamp set so here's the little wheelbarrow and then you've got the gazebo and a little bridge and you know all kinds of water or clouds or ground whatever you want to do with this there's so much fun okay so we've got the box we're going to put the box together and then we're going to add the cards and it's like four cards is the perfect amount of cards with envelopes to fit in these boxes i have found oh we can't have that you get yourself get yourself looking fine there okay then we'll close up the other side here and we're going to make a super easy belly band. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to use another whole piece of designer series paper. Almost a whole piece. Okay. So I had a full piece of designer series paper. This is Highland Heather. Let me grab my other one. 
Okay. So it was a full six by six piece. I don't know how it went. It doesn't really matter because we're not actually like keeping it together, but it was. So I cut it at two inches, one, two, three. And then two of these, I cut two, five and a half. And then I have one piece left that is a two by six. Okay. And we're going to make a card with this after we're done with this box. Okay. So I am not a big fan of always measuring stuff, like putting it on there and scoring it and blah, blah, because it doesn't always work out. The, the best way I have found to like wrap things is just to lay your, you got it full. You're going to lay your paper onto it and you're just going to fold it right there on the edge. And then I get my score line and then I bring it off of there and I line it up so that the sides are even. I put it back on and make it go over. And then I do the other side, pull it off. And you're going to do that with both pieces. So now this one maybe will be on the back and we will do the same thing. Just fold it over. I guess I could do it like this. Oh yeah, Jean, you got to fold those ends in first on those silly boxes. Otherwise it's just impossible to get them to fold. But once you do that, oh my gosh, does it go together quickly? Okay. So we're going to put one piece on the front and one piece on the back. So I'm going to add some seal to the ends of both of these, not both of these, the two ends on this piece. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are not always easy for me. Whoops. I need a little more. Okay. So then we're going to put this on the bottom, have your flaps come up so they're on the sides. Actually, what we could do is, no, we have to do it like this. So you're going to put the one side on like that, and you're going to fold it over, flip it over, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Make sure you have your glue side and then do that. And then it will slide on and up and you don't even need it to come off though, honestly, because you don't need, it's not, it's not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stopping the box from opening. Okay. So, so then we have put something on the front. That's cute. So we're basically going to do the exact same thing that we did on the cards on the inside, but instead of having the tag this way, we're having it this way. And this is a bit smaller. So you can see, I think this was the third largest, if I remember right. So there's a big one, another one, and then this one, and then another one, and then this one. I'm pretty sure is how I did it. So we're going to do kind of the same, like I said, the same thing. So we're going to get the, um, the little wheelbarrow here, and we're going to stamp it about like that. Okay. And we're going to, whoops, I'm making a lot of noise in the ground. And this is Pear Pizzazz. Got to kind of close my eye to see what I'm doing there. There's our ground. Uh, I already have a little uh, wheelbarrow bucket cut out. Let me pull that in. There we go. So I still need to kind of make my eyeball spot for myself so I know where to stamp the flowers. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to stamp it on a scrap. Here's a little scrap piece of paper. And there we go. Then we can bring in our purple, our Highland Heather. Oh, this is an Highland Heather. What am I? Does anybody see my Highland Heather? Oh, it was hiding. Okay. Uh, we're going to clean this off because we're going to use Highland Heather on it. So I've got a freshly rinsed out um, chamois and I got a little bit too much water. So I'm just slapping it on my hand to get the water off of it or to dry it quickly, I guess is what I'm really trying to do. There's our flowers. And then the leaves, get those on there. Mm, like so. We'll add this. So now we have a super cute little gift to give. Okay, got that. And then I have a little tiny stamp that says a little hello. I'm gonna ink that up in the purple Highland Tether and I'm gonna stamp it about like that. A 
Of course, we need another rhinestone. So we got to decorate the front too. Might take your pick tool and do that. Okay. And I have to tell you what's really funny is I was practicing making this box and that is where my next card idea came from. Okay, let me close these up so we don't make a mess. And I think I just touched my finger into that. No, I didn't. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Oh, I never showed you how I tie my bow. Well, I'll show you on this one because I got a little double bow here. So we are going to get ourselves a length of twine. I don't know how long this is. Let's just see if we can figure it out. Oh, maybe seven inches for each piece, maybe. So we've got two strands. I'm just going to tie a little bow. So I'm going to make a little loop, bunny ear, if you will, wrap it around and pull it through. So simple. Okay. And then you just want to kind of pull on the threads to get your um, loops the size that you want them. Of course, you want them to kind of be about the same. Okay. And then we'll get a glue dot. And I thought we would just stick that on the front right there. Oh, we got to roll this. We must roll the dot. If you can, you can leave it on there if you decide that you want to. Press the dot. Okay. Oh, I need to add. <laughs> I need to put this on first. Hold on, please. I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals. And you could use whatever color of card you put on the top. That's, that would be the color that you would, you know, the color you would pick for the belly band. So that way it looks like it's, um, that looks crooked. Uh, then that way it looks like it, you know, coordinates. And then I thought I would just stick my little bow right there on the edge and then trim off the tails. And they can be fairly long because, oh, these are not the best scissors. Clearly those were not the best scissors. Jeez. All right, hold please. We're going to try to get down at the bottom. There. Ah! <gasps> So there it is. So cute. So then I thought to myself, wow, wouldn't that look super cute on a card? Just this little piece right here. So guess what? That's our next plan. Because we have a piece of the purple still with us. Um, at least I thought I did. Oh, I do. I found it. Here we go. And we have another thick whisper white card base. We have another label. And now we're just going to make a card. So this is two by six. We're just going to cut it to four and a quarter. So whatever paper trimmer you have, mine is this little handy dandy one that Stampin' Up! used to, um, I guess they didn't used to sell it. It was a freebie during celebration one year. If you joined Stampin' Up! you got this little trimmer for free. But if you were already a demonstrator, then you could um, order it. So that's where that's going to go. And guess what? We're doing the same thing again. Because why not? Because I feel like you could make a million of these little cards. All you have to do is just change the sentiment. You know what I'm saying? And so I have another little sentiment that I wanted to use. Where's my stamps? I wanted to use the I miss you and send it to my daughter. Because she, I do miss her. You know, sometimes she's like any other kid and she drives me crazy. But I do miss her quite a lot. And the older she gets, so it's like the more I miss her. When she was a teenager, you know, I wouldn't have been super sad if she would have been in college then. <laughs> you know, because she had a little bit of attitude. But now she's like an adult. And yeah, so I just really miss her. Okay. Uh, we are going to, of course, stamp this exact same thing. We're doing everything the same. I have another little bucket that I already stamped. So all I have to do is stamp it and stamp it off so that I can um, find my little spot. You guys are going to be pros at making this card by the time this Facebook Live is over. But you're also going to have more ideas about how to use up your DSP. And we're not really... Oh! Look at that! I thought that was purple! What the heck? 
Oh, now I want to cry. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. That's not the most ideal thing to do because the back side doesn't always look as good as the front. But I don't have another one. See, that's what happens when you don't have a spare. You screw it up. Um, where is my chamois? Because now I have to clean my stamp. Oh, wait, that's not the chamois I'm looking for. Here, hold on. It's a good thing you can't see over there because it's quite messy. Okay, we um, are not going to be using gray for flowers because seriously, okay, I guess you could use gray for flowers, but anyway, yeah, good job, Barb. All right, I'm stamping that off and then we're going to do this again and hopefully this time it works and I don't screw it up because I don't have any more, I don't have any more backsides of anything to use. Okay. This is clean. I'm going to smack it on my hand a little bit to get some of that um, water off. And then there we go. And we need our green. You guys are probably sick to death of this card, of this design, because it's like the third one I've done now. But it's going to be so cute. I promise that it'll be cute. Um, There we go. And we put our little wheelbarrow bucket. Get some adhesive on that little guy. Cover that up. There we go. And then the I miss you, I'm going to do in the purple. Make sure it's not upside down. That would be great. And then lastly, we need our ground piece. And I'm sure it's right here. Let's see, I know it's around here somewhere because I just used it. Okay. That's just, I just love that. It's so cute. Okay, anyway, so you can make like a ton of cards and you can make them exactly the same because typically you're not going to be giving them to the same person. You know what I'm saying? So if you give them to, you know, your mom and your sister-in-law and your best friend, they're not going to know that each other got the same card because, you know, unless they talk about it, which they probably won't. So yeah, you can make a whole bunch. And I think just changing the color, changing the sentiment on there. Whoops, come on, you seal. Oh, my seal is just about out. That is the problem. I can see the red thing coming in to tell me that you are done. Ugh, just a tiny bit more. Come on. There we go. All right, so we will put this down here at the bottom of the card. And we're going to clip that off. And I still have one more card for you guys, too. Hopefully you like it, too. But this was fun. All right. And then we have the dimensionals to put on there. Oh, almost a second there. I thought, oh, gosh, where are those gray flowers? And I thought I would do it kind of the same as I did the box where I put it over to the side, the left side of Tad. And then I have another double bow here that I did earlier. So we will just roll a glue dot and get that on there. Yes, Cynthia, you could totally do this in mass production. You are correct. No, well, I didn't want to totally cover up my words, but okay. Are these the crappy scissors or are these the not crappy scissors? I think they're kind of crappy. Oh, no, those actually worked out pretty good. Okay, so there it is. So now we have a box set of cards. We have a cute little belly band, and we have another card. And, of course, I had to do another one earlier today. So I also have a blue one, one that I did in Balmy Blue. So, yeah, that was fun. Okay, but I still have one more project for you guys. So let me kind of clean up a bit here. Um, I'm not going to clean these. I'm just going to move them out of the way. And then we will have a clean stamping area for our final project. So this is like the only piece that I, that I'm going to just toss that. I don't need that. And I also have to stop myself from hoarding scraps. I've decided like designer series paper things. I've really got to quit doing that because I, oh, good Lord, I could hoard the whole, I could hoard all of it. I mean, I could have piles of this stuff, but I'm not, I'm going to throw it out. Okay. I think we have everything oh look what i just saw it's time to do a random drawing mandy hold this um let me just scoop all the trash into the garbage here really quick because you guys know i don't like a messy work area okay now i'm
I'm going to scroll back through the comments and I'm going to pick somebody to win that. Okay. Oh, Jan just reminded me. That's so funny. Okay. I'm just going to scroll. Sorry, my camera's getting kind of bumpy here. Um, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Wow, there's a lot of comments, you guys. I'm going way, way back. We're going way back and we're looking and we're looking and we're looking some more and we're looking and we're looking. Ooh, we're going to go with Shanna. Shanna McGill Horan, you are the winner of this stamp set. Where is my pencil? All right, Shanna, I'm going to write your name on this. There we go. And I will get this out to you. Okay. Let me roll back to the comments so I can keep the comments flowing. There's a ton of comments, you guys. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to move that out of the way. We're going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to bring in my next project. We'll leave Mandy here for a moment for you guys to look at because Mandy's cute. Okay. Ooh. And look. I have an adhesive kit again because I wanted to share it with you guys again in case you weren't here in the very beginning um, that I actually do sell these. They are $45 and the link is in the description of this video. And they come in these cute little colored pouches. Um, I think I have yellow, blue, purple, red, black, and green. There's six different colors that you, that you could get. And you get a seal, a tear and tape, some dimensionals, some glue dots, a liquid glue, a sand eraser, an adhesive eraser, and a ruler. It could be clear, it could be colored, it just depends. I buy them by the bulk and they send me all different colors. So they're really cute, they're pretty handy. They're great for carrying your adhesives around since we're kind of starting to get back into gathering again, I hope. Um, so anyways, yeah, there's a cute little adhesive bag and you can get it in the description below this video. All right. We are going to use the pattern play stamp set to make a fun card. Well, I think it's fun. Hopefully you guys do too. And look at that. Another piece of designer series paper. Okay. And let me get my pieces. So we're going to have a black card base. So of course we need a layer for the inside. Who has sand erasers? Do you want to know how you use them, Valerie? Is that what you're asking? Um, and then I have a white layer that's three and three quarters by five. That's not true. It's three and a half by four and three quarters. This Bermuda Bay layer is three and three quarters by five. And that's going to go on that. Here's my extra white in case I screw it up. Okay. Sand erasers are awesome when you make a little inky mistake. Um, they help you kind of get rid of that little inky mistake. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to use a bunch of ink. All right, so that was Granny Apple Green. That is Poppy Parade. We have some Melon Mambo. We have some Yellow, some Daffodil Delight. Uh, Bermuda Bay. Holy cow, we got a whole, or you guys can't even see them. We got a whole rainbow of colors here and the gorgeous grape. Okay. So we are going to take the long uh, striped image here and we're going to ink it up in the different colors and then we are going to do some stamping. So I'm going to start with my gorgeous grape. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it right here on the edge of the paper. Okay. There we go. And now I need to clean it off. So we will get that cleaned off here. Get it on the chamois, get it all clean. Of course, smack it on your hand. Oh, whoops, my paper flew away. Now we're gonna ink it up in Bermuda Bay. We're gonna kind of make a rainbow. Um, and since I can see through my block and my stamp, I can kind of line these up pretty easily. There we go. And we're going to tap that off. Okay. Smack it against your hand. Okay. 
And then what's next? Green. Oh my gosh, Tana, is Sherry your sister? That's awesome. Sherry is a sweetheart. She knitted me a bunch of dishcloths and sent them to me. She is so sweet. Because my mom used to knit dishcloths and then she got sick and, and she passed away. And so I haven't had any new dishcloths. So that's exciting. Oh, I'm glad you get to see her. That's awesome. Okay, then we're going to go with daffodil. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm, because when I clean it off on my chamois, Jamie, my chamois is pretty wet. So my stamp ends up having some excess water on it. So if I smack it on my hand, that kind of gets rid of that excess water. Now, if my chamois wasn't quite as wet as it is, then it probably wouldn't be an, an issue. But as I'm cleaning it off, it's getting kind of wet because I can see there's water all around. And when I smack it on my hand, I can feel, I can feel it being wet. That's what she told me. That's awesome. I did not know you guys were sisters. How fun. So she's coming to your condo in Colorado. That's awesome. You guys are going to have a fantastic time. Okay. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have put these away because I might, yeah, I'm going to need some of them again. All right. Well, we'll just open it up and figure it out. All right. We're going Melon Mambo here next to the uh, yellow. And I'm probably not the best person at doing the rainbow, but you know, I try. It is what it is. Okay. Smacking it on my hand again. And now we're going to ink it up in the Poppy Parade. Yep, I'm going to need to get my a gorgeous grape and possibly my Bermuda Bay out again. Ah. I actually was going to make this card for you guys last week and then I hated it. And then the more I looked at it throughout the week, it was kind of sitting around this piece that I had created was kind of sitting around. And I thought, you know, I don't hate that as much as I thought I did. Oh, look at that. That's on my thumb. Hold, please. Well, I clean off. Apparently, I've got a lot of ink on my hands. Okay. We got to get the ink off there. Okay. Is this still wet? No. All right. We need a little bit of grape. And maybe this will cover the entire thing. We shall see. If not, then we may have to bring in the Bermuda Bay. We might have to bring in the Bermuda Bay just for that tiny, tiny little corner. Um, otherwise, it won't look right, I don't think. Okay. So, here we go. Just one little tiny Bermuda Bay stripe. And yeah, I think we had to do it. All right. Now my chamois is very, very pretty. <laughs> Okay, then um, I decided to use another piece from the stamp set, another one of the stamps, and it's this little um, solid dots. So I'm using this little guy here, and I'm going to use black because I thought, you know, when you're working with a rainbow of colors, black is always a good, a good thing to add, I feel like. And so we're just going to kind of randomly throw some black dots on here and I'm not gonna put a ton like I'm not trying to cover the entire piece um, but I just wanted a few on here mm, maybe like that maybe uh, one up here okay so that's fun rainbows are fun then we have a cute little word that says cue the confetti that we're going to stamp on a scrap of white. Um, where do I, here we go. Melon Mambo. Oh, I've got ink all over my Melon Mambo pad. I've got ink everywhere. I need to be very, very careful. Okay. So we're cueing the confetti in the Melon Mambo. And then I have I think this is called the Timeless Label Punch, and I believe it's retiring. And so we're just going to, because that just fit in there perfectly. Then this is all of the Daffodil Delight Rouge Ribbon that I have, okay? And what I wanted to do with it was I wanted to wrap it across the card and tie a bow with it. 
but I don't know if I have enough to do that because I wanted to go across the card this way and then I wanted to put my sentiment on here like that but do you think I can tie a bow <laughs> we're gonna cheat okay the stamp set Susan is called pattern play it's right here it's fun. It's cute. It actually is in a bundle with those little letters, the die cut letters. Um, right now it's in a bundle, but the die cut letters are not retiring, but the stamp set is. Okay. So this is what I was going to do. I wanted it to go across my card and then I also wanted to tie a bow with it, but I don't, I don't think I have enough. So here's my little cheater. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to the back where I think that I want it to be. So I'm going to leave a little tiny tail there, tape it to the back. Okay, then I'm going to put my little confetti piece right here. So if I kind of put my finger right there, I could probably cut this off. Okay, and then I can take a skinny strip of tape. Now this is being super cheap, you guys, super cheap. Um, and normally I would have another roll of ribbon, but it's retiring. So um, I don't because I don't need a ribbon that's retired. So then I only need a tiny little bit and this is going to give me enough, I think, to tie a bow. So I'm pretty excited. Okay. So then I'll just put this like right here, kind of line it up with the other piece that's on there and tape that down. Then I can snip it off and tape it to the back and I should have enough to tie a bow. Okay, we shall see what happens. <laughs> Two loops, cross them, pull them, <laughs> and then we'll just make a little bow. Okay, so then when I stick this on, no one's going to know that I did that. Okay, I need some mini dimensionals. Where are my, oh, here we are. These must have come in a paper pumpkin kit too, because um, this is a smaller sheet, or it must have come in some kit. So I am putting my minis down here at the bottom on the edges. Okay, so now we're gonna straddle our ribbon. About like so, then we can add our little bow right there. I'm so excited. Where's my glue dots? I got so excited I lost my glue dots. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, I need to make sure this is the way I want it. I need it to be a tiny bit smaller because I want my tails to be um, about the same size as my loops. Why do I keep using these crappy scissors? Where are my other scissors that are good? Well, I have another pair up here. These should be good. These are like ones that are brand new almost. Oh my, that can't be brand new, can it? That did not cut worth the darn. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it me or is it my scissors? I think it's me, guys. I think I'm losing it. All right, I can't. I can't cut off any more because then there won't be any left. All right, so we're gonna stick that in a glue dot. How about a knot? I could have done a knot, but since I cheated, I didn't have to, because I really wanted a bow. Okay, so then we're gonna add, oh goodness, we're gonna go liquid glue because I don't feel like getting the new seal out right this minute. Okay, and then we'll put this on this. I'm trying to close my eyes so I can see if it's even. There we go. And then we will add it with some dimensionals to the black. Oh, you know what? I'm just sitting here thinking I didn't make any dinner. Ugh. Dinner. I don't know if you guys enjoy making dinner or not. I despise it. It's the bane of my existence because it happens every day for your entire life. I'm thinking grilled cheese sandwiches, tomato soup, even though it's 80 degrees. 
sure my husband's going to just love that. Okay, so then we have the inside that we need to add our designer series paper strip. And actually, this is a little wide. I think I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it to like three quarters of an inch. Uh, there. And then I have no guilt whatsoever throwing that in the trash. Okay. So we'll add this to the bottom on the inside. And then we have that other little sentiment that we can stamp on the inside too that comes in the set. That's super cute. All right. Cue the crappy scissors. But they're good. They're paper scissors. They're not ribbon scissors. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, probably going to be sorry that I'm sticking this in here right now, you guys. Because what if um, I screw up my sentiment? Yeah, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Okay. So this says, fill the day with all your guilty pleasures. So we're going to get that off the sheet. I'm going to get a block. And we're going to stick this on the block. And I think I'm going to ink it up in Bermuda Bay. And then we'll stamp that in the center of said card. Hopefully it's straight. And if it's not, ugh, oh well. There it is! That's pretty straight. Could be better, could be worse. And I don't even have any, oh yes I do. Hold on, I was gonna say I don't even have any embellishments, but I just remembered that I do. I have the Artistry Bloom sequins. So now I just have to figure out what color I want to use. Ooh, those might be kind of fun. Or the yellow. Nope, I think we're going bold here. Go bold or go home. And we're going to add just a few of these fun little sequins just because they're going to catch the light. And I think they're just going to be kind of fun. So yay! Okay, so there is our fun rainbow card. I mean, it actually, it takes a little, you know, it takes a bit of time, but it's still kind of fun. Okay, so let me push all this junk out of the way. And then let me bring in everything that we made. So we didn't make both of these, but we made one and it's super cute. Then of course we have our little boxed set of cards. I'll take them out of the box for you. And of course you guys know you can buy all the supplies to create any of these things in my online store at shoppingwithbarb.com. And then the links to all of my classes and stuff are in the description below the video. And so here, let me move that out of the way. Here are our fun cards. Eee, so cute. And they're all the same. Look at these. All this stuff is exactly the same, but that wheelbarrow is stinking cute. So we've got the balmy blue card. We've got our saffron and freesia card. We've got our magenta madness and polished pink card. We have our Highland Heather card. Then we have the other two cards. So we are just using the heck out of our designer series paper, you guys. We're on a mission. We're on a mission to use some of it up. And then we have our cute little rainbow card. And then don't forget about my online classes and everything else that I have. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching me. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all your comments. Um, congratulations to Shanna for winning the stamp set. And I will see you guys here. Well, yeah, next week I definitely will be here for sure. It's the week after when I get my eye fixed because, I mean, you never know. I could have complications or something. I doubt it, but you never know. So next week on May 6th, I will be here or be square. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.